In just over a century, the motor car has transformed the world. There are now 550 million cars buzzing up and down the world's highways. And next year, another 45 million new cars will roll off the production lines. But every year, tens of millions of cars reach the end of the road. You might think the scrapyard is the last resting place for your old wrecks, but you'd be wrong, because all of these cars are about to be reincarnated. In Europe today, 80% of every old rejected car, its body, engine, wheels, upholstery, must, by law, be recycled. In fact, it's highly likely that the car you're driving right now is built from someone else's old banger. It's a piece of modern engineering magic, a kind of metal cannibalism. So, how do they do it? The Newport Docks in Wales. This is the end of the line for 100,000 cars every year. Soon our clapped out wrecks will be smashed into a thousand tiny pieces. Raw material for a new, younger, better kind of car. For in these docks lives a giant monster, the largest car shredder in the world. And it has a voracious appetite. This awesome machine can swallow up and spit out as many as 450 cars an hour. That's almost eight cars a minute. It crushes, smashes, and hammers them into tiny pieces and spits them out again in a matter of minutes. But even for a monster like this, chewing up cars is a perilous business. The trouble is, every car arrives with a cocktail of explosive chemicals swilling about inside. Each one is like a bomb waiting to go off inside the masher's hungry jaws. So first, the bomb must be diffused. This is the bomb disposal squad. Before shredding this green Rover car, they remove all the material that could explode when it's crushed. They bleed out all the liquids, the petrol, oil, antifreeze, coolant, brake and battery fluids. Now there are no poisons to leak into the earth and no liquids to ignite during the crushing process. For the Jolly Green Rover, it's time to meet its maker. The little car is dragged mercilessly through the gates of hell. First, the crusher flattens the hulk with enormous rollers. Then 20 massive half-ton rotating hammers, propelled by this red wheel, smash it to pieces. The crusher chews the chunks to digestible-sized frags, or shredded metal fragments. The machine is so powerful, and the process is so violent, it actually makes the ground shake. Now the recyclable metal has to be separated from the other jumbled materials. To sort the steel frags from the copper, brass, stainless steel and zinc, the pieces are exposed to powerful magnets but the magnets can only do so much. For the final sifting and sorting, you need humans. In this picking and sorting shed, men work day and night, separating the metals which need further refining from the steel. Apart from the thousands of pounds worth of loose change found under the seats, steel is one of the most valuable products from these crushed used cars. The massive crusher thunders on relentlessly, 
turning 100,000 cars a year into fist-sized fragments that will then be exported all over the world. The Jolly Green Rover will now form part of a cargo of valuable raw material that will be sold to car makers who will transform it into a new generation of motor car. This ship, the Golden Sky, is headed for China. It's only a matter of time before the Jolly Green Rover rides again. This time, he won't have a dodgy clutch. Hopefully, he won't be that revolting shade of green. But it's nice to imagine that his Jolly Rover soul will carry on. So just remember, the next time you climb into your brand new car, beneath the surface, it's an old green Rover with 200,000 kilometers on the clock.